In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a pie chart and place it on top of the coffee cup. As you can see here, I have designed this coffee cup completely in PowerPoint where I've added the coffee, the, the text pie chart. You can add the legend at the bottom, the title and the detailed text. And when I click, it will show you the chart here. Can you see here? So it's 58%, 23%, 10%, all those things. You can do this easily in PowerPoint. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. There are two ways to create the coffee cup. So first of all add a new slide then go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle top corner surrounded draw this one and you can see here there are two orange point the bottom orange point you just drag this inside and this one drag it outside so this is one way a simplest way to make a, a cup or then you can just add a handle to it that we'll see later the other way you can do is go to insert shapes select the triangle draw a triangle depending on the requirement okay so this much size then i'm going to rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical all right then right mouse click edit points you can see here there are three edit points so first of all i click the bottom point and you can see the two small square just drag this down maybe here one and the other one is here make sure it is in the straight line and then this one on the left side just drag this like this and here also just drag it so you can see here there's one way of making the shape like this and the next thing which you can do is you can go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw a oval shape like this you can see here make sure that it is center aligned from here shape outline no outline and shape fill i can give some different color so it looks kind of a shape of a cup and here also you can do duplicate this one reduce the size and here also whichever way you want you can select the cup anyway for our reference i'm going to use this particular cup okay so let me just delete this one the next thing which i would like to make is first of all make it in the center then i would like to add one handle to add the handle what you need to do is go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select heart you must be wondering why i'm selecting the heart anyway i will tell you so let me just select one heart shape outline no outline press ctrl d to duplicate shape fill i'm going to give some different color hold the shift key reduce the size of this golden heart and put it here like this all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one first the blue one hold the shift key select the the orange heart then go to the merge shape and subtract so we end up getting like this then i'm going to cut from the one end from the left side so go to insert shapes select the rectangle exactly from the center i'm going to select this one hold the shift key select this merge shape subtract done you can see here i'm going to reduce the size i'll tilt it a little bit and done we are added the you can see the handle as well the next thing which we like to do is we like to add some different color options here and uh, we'll see some more uh, 3d look here for this one so first of all let me just select this one and here i'm going to give a maybe a kind of gray color you can see here or you can just choose some light gray color whichever color you feel and shape outline make sure there is no outline and this one i'm going to choose most uh, maybe more a light gray color all right then what i'm going to do is go to insert shapes select the triangle again draw a small triangle uh, go to rotate and make it flip vertical and before that one i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give some different color for easy understanding 
maybe somewhat darker and make sure that you have to put it exactly on top of the first one okay why i'm going to do this because i'm going to cut some of the shapes from here okay bring this one here bring to front and right mouse click edit points you can see the points just drag this inside here also and here drag this side here and here okay so now what i'm going to do is let me just duplicate this one for my future use i'm going to select this one hold the shift key select this one merge shape i can make it intersect and send this to back so you can see here i've given i'm giving some kind of a, a shadow effect here not the shadow effect or glossy effect you can call it okay and the same thing you can do it for this also for example let me just bring it again on top of this one make sure that it is exactly on top and go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw a small oval shape like this rotate a little bit all right and then i'm going to select this one hold the shift key select this merge shapes again i'm going to make it intersect maybe you can give some different color mm, yeah maybe somewhat light and send this to back so you can see here i have created kind of this effect and for this handle also i'm going to give this uh, gray color or the color whatever i have used here and i'm going to send this to back and then right mouse click go to the format shape under the effects select the 3d format top bevel i'm going to select this one and increase the height and increase the width also so you can see here it looks kind of a a 3d look now and once this is done what you can do is you can add some shadow effect to add the shadow effect go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw oval shape like this maybe you rotate it a little bit and place it here shape outline no outline and i'm going to select gradient fill gradient fill i'm going to use two stops okay i'm going to delete first stop i'm going to select and make it a black and the direction i'm going to change from here and then this one i'm going to keep it white okay and then make this transparency less and this one also a little bit then send this to back okay you can see here i have added the shadow effect like this okay so once this is done the next thing which we would like to do is to add the the pie chart here or the pie graph you call it whatever we have to add it here so before adding the pie chart i would just like to add the coffee inside here press ctrl d to duplicate and go to the uh this one the effects and i'm going to the fill here actually and select the gradient fill and here i'm going to choose two colors which are uh, like a coffee for example this one i'm going to choose some uh, dark color here and here i'm going to choose the same color but i'm going to make it somewhat lighter this one so i can make it somewhat transparent and the direction i would like to change the darker should be on the top like this hold the shift key reduce the size a little bit and you can see here the coffee is added uh, onto the cup now it's time to add the graph to add the graph or the chart you need to go to the insert chart sorry you go to insert and chart select the chart and i'm going to select the pie chart here select this pie chart and click ok it will insert the chart close this one if you want to do some changes you can do it but i'm not going to do any changes i'm going to use as as it is then i'm going to reduce the size of this one okay the thing is we cannot do a kind of 3d object for example if i go to the effects you can see here there are no 3d format here or 3d rotation here i cannot do that one so first of all you have to make sure that once your chart design is ready keep everything whatever the changes you required you keep it and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one if you want to change the color whatever you want you can see here you can just change different colors looks everything complete the, uh, the chart first and once that is done i'm going to select this chart copy right mouse click and i'm going to paste this as a picture here and once this is done you can see here the 3d rotation is come so i go to the 3d rotation go to the presets 
from here i'm going to choose this one which is the perspective relax moderately and then you can see here you have got different uh, rotations here so i can just rotate it like this you can see here i'm going to use this y rotation and reduce the size a little bit and paste it here you can see here again if you want you can increase the size or decrease the size it's up to you all right so this original chart i'm going to delete this one so you can see here we have added the chart the pie chart on top of the the coffee cup and then you can add the legend here for example go to insert shapes select the small square shape by holding the shift key okay this one i'm going to use the color which we have been used here this blue then add the legend here details whatever you want to add it add details here for example this is a 60% uh, whatever you want you can just put it then I'm going to select both of this one hold the control shift key drag it second this is third and this is fourth now I'm going to select this one using the eyedropper this is my second let me just do it once again all right then this is my third which is the gray color and then this is my orange color or yellow color then you can add some uh, title here and then you can add some simple animation for example go to the animations enable the animation pane this one add animation more entrance effects basic zoom click ok that's it so you can see here it looks something like this if you want to add some title some detailed text more stuff you can do it according to your requirement